Yo. Yo. It's dead in this town. You know? It's crazy. Gotta shake things up. Yo. For real. Let's go. Quiet night. There is no sound. Who needs a light? With no fun around. Hey, it's Asian Day and Night. Hey. Fuck with me and get some money. Hey. Fuck with me and get some money. Fuck with me and get some money. That's what I'm on this morning. Fuck with me and get some money. Yes, Cardi B and this face, y'all. Hey, day 29. What you know about that? <laughs> day 29. 29 days and your girl is gone on vacation. Holla back. Y'all, we just leaving the house. Good morning, good morning. Hey, everybody, it's Miss True Redbone. If you didn't know, now you know. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share. I am not a secret. I'm not. Pass me the fuck around. Ooh, that color is popping in that sun, ain't she? Whoa. Hey, everybody. Hey, you guys. What's going on, y'all? I'm late. It is what it is. I try my best, you know. Hmm. It's gonna get better. It's gonna get better, you know. I promise it will. I just get caught up in the moment. Like, I be like, oh, I got 30 minutes? I got 30 minutes, y'all, to do what I gotta do. And then 30 minutes, next time I look up, I'm late. Can't play with time, you know. I need some chronic, y'all. Y'all, oh Jesus, I put a little bit of cinnamon again and brown sugar in the um, coffee grounds. And uh, the chronic is freaking amazing, you know? It does something for me. Y'all, I am, gotta get this weight off. Gotta get this weight off. I got 29 days to get this weight off off we finna y'all know what this is it's my morning vlog we're riding in a rolling rambling our way into work and um yeah you know your girl has been busy i have i still i have not been able to get to my comments because last night was like a family night situation and you know family comes first you know i don't know how much longer i'm gonna have times like this with the kids that are still left in the house so i try to enjoy enjoy it um what are we gonna tech about y'all y'all know it's fresh haircut too they daddy be in there with them clippers y'all couldn't do a ootd of the day maybe i'll take a picture when i get out the car at work for you guys i just have on like a black sheer little shirt that used to hang over my butt very loosely now it sits on my hips so that's a telltale sign that your girl gotta drastically drop at least 15 pounds before this trip it's so crazy how much that small amount of weight makes a huge difference in how your clothes fit you like damn Think positive and positive things will happen. Y'all, I'm hype. I'm trying to stay that way. Um, I woke up on the good foot. Mm. Yes. Um, it's a beautiful day in my neighborhood. I hope it's a beautiful day in yours too, you know? It's looking good I, out here in these streets. All right, you guys. What's going on? What have I missed? What have you guys been doing with your lives? You know? This, let me tell y'all, I got on the suit of armor, y'all. I'm really trying to... I got it. I'm trying to make sure I had my lunch, y'all. Yesterday for lunch, I had a bowl of lettuce with some diced onions. And for protein, I had some... Is it carne asada? shredded carne asada and it was freaking fantabulous freaking delicious fucking delicious yes um 
So for all y'all who know what's going on, it's day 29, we getting ready for this trip. I think I'm about to start doing some late night walks, well some night, when the sun breaks, I'm going to be out there walking me and probably whichever child in my house I can recruit. Um, so yeah, I got to get this weight off. So if I got to sweat a little, I guess I got to sweat a little. I got on my, I'm going to tell y'all everything I got on. The girls are sitting up really nice. Really nice because of everything that I have on. I have on my Cinture, yes and i had the squeeze to get in it so i know i gained weight because i didn't used to have to and i have on my spank over my cincture so yeah bulletproof vest i got that cpt something written across my chest hey what y'all know about that <laughs> y'all remember dj quick a brother like the quick is taking over <laughs> am i telling my age All right, so I got the CPT stuff written across my chest. All right, y'all, I'm tripping. I'm tripping. First, uh, y'all know I was watching my Mama Moya this morning, and Mama Moya, I haven't been commenting, but baby, you was playing this morning. I let you just go. You got some views out of True this morning. I let it play. Um, and I love it when she say, "You guys put that battery in my back." You do. Y'all put that battery in our back. Um, and I am so grateful for it. You know, y'all give me great life, great energy, great uh, 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 every fucking morning. I love it. I love it. Vitamin D. Y'all, I need it in me. I should do, I should spit some bars for y'all, shouldn't I? Y'all, y'all want me to? Y'all want Red Bone to put it down, lay down the track for y'all? Took that vitamin D off of the week. Okay, so we got Wednesday, the, um, the agenda for tomorrow, Wednesday Night Live. We will be discussing the topic woman to woman once again. I will be dropping a, dropping a, some, uh, well, I guess a, you can leave some questions or you can leave a topic about woman to woman that you guys want to discuss down in the community board. I'm going to leave some information there today so I can get that all together I have about five or six videos um, that I need to edit so it's not like I haven't been working for you guys I've been putting in that work I have let's talk about the first six true family members to comment on yesterday morning vlog and remember you guys please make sure that you're um, still subscribed to Miss True Redbone that your notification bills are set to all and if you just been watching your sister from afar you know get a little as I would say on my Facebook page if you want a little a little dose if you want a daily dose of the truth check out Miss True Redbone <laughs> how you like me now <laughs> okay y'all so, first true family member to comment on yesterday's morning vlog was Tara Daniels. We have Odyssey H. Hey, oh, hey, oh. We have Latoy Hogan. Thank you, Latoy. You might you be in there, even if you just stopping by to say hi. Hi, boo, hi. I wish I was hi, boo, hi. <laughs> Kimberly, blessed and hi, happy Johnson. Hey, baby girl. Did you start your new job yet? You know, I try to keep up with the truths. Um, no further ado, hey baby, I meant to call you Sunday. I'm sorry. You know, life gets the best of us, but we still gonna get together. Um, Denise A R C E H E A U X R K N O X. I screwed that up, but hey boo, hey. Um, good morning to all you guys Beautiful women. Thank you for watching your girl. Thank you for supporting your girl. We are almost at 2700. Can we make it happen before the end of today? Definitely before Sunday, let's make it do what it do. You know, I'm on the road to 3k all the way, you know, let's let's make it Let's make it happen um, Let's do the daily affirmation because I feel like I need you know, I need some positive vibes energy in my life um let's go it is um 
all progress takes place outside of the comfort zone. Y'all heard that? It, does that sound familiar to you, Trues? Does it? All progress takes place outside of the comfort zone. How many times do I say don't get comfortable? Do not get comfortable. When you get comfortable, you get lazy. You get relaxed. You gain like 20 pounds like your sister girl did. But that's okay because I'm not relaxed. I'm not comfortable right now. I'm not comfortable in my skin. So, I will be fixing that. Drastically. Your girl took the tea last. Y'all, I drank that tea yesterday. My detox tea when I left work yesterday around 5.36. It takes about eight hours to do what it got to do or a little more. Y'all, that stuff kicked in on me at 5 a.m. this morning and talking about somebody in the bathroom ever since. But I will be repeating that cycle today. I'm getting these, I'm getting all these toxins out of my system. And I've been drinking water up the wazoo. So, there you go. Um, so, remember, don't get comfortable. When you get comfortable... You get too relaxed. You don't stay on. You're not on your A game like you normally would be. You know, I was watching. Um, I don't know if you guys watch her, Trisha Payton. Payton's is that what it is? I'm sub I'm subscribed to her channel, so I get her notification. You know, she. I don't know. It's been a while now, but she went through a breakup, and she was just showing how much she weighed prior to her breakup. Um, and how she started losing weight after the breakup and you know when you get in a relationship a long-term relationship you tend to get comfortable y'all kicking it y'all eating late at night um, y'all having fun 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 and next thing you know you got them love handles when they broke up when she broke up with her man Trisha lost so much she's a I think she said she's five three um, to me, even thicker, she looked good. I got a thick body. I just, I'm not ever meant to be skinny, you guys. I don't want to be skinny. My head is too big for me to be skinny. It's not meant for me to be skinny. My neck would probably break if I was too skinny. I would look a little crackheadish if I was skinny. You know what I'm saying? I can't do it. I can't do it. I look sick. So, that's why I stay, I always stay at about 174 175 and that's perfect for miss true i don't want to lose the junk in the trunk i just want to you know get it back solid i don't want to lose it i like the wagon that i'm dragging you know i feel like that vitamin d is stuck in my throat y'all hold on it's just sitting there So yeah, she once they broke up, she lost weight. So it's either a good virus, a good cold, that you will lose some weight, or a breakup would definitely do it. I know um, when me and my husband separated a couple of times, your girl got real fucking fine. I did. I was so fine. Like you know, not like other. What did she do? That no, not that. But she was like, I'm an hourglass. I'm just a big hourglass, y'all. Anywho, so. I heard this morning people talking about the whole uh, strong gummy Chrissy and how she has a lock on the refrigerator. Now, I tried to watch it this morning. I didn't see a lock. Is it at the top? Because I did see something at the top hanging. Um, smart fucking idea. For those out there who have, you know, a huge family. A large family that's a good way of keeping track of your groceries I'm sorry y'all can like it or leave it she ain't starving nobody she ain't it's just uh when you got all them young kids around and they able to open shit open refrigerator doors open cabinets you gotta do something to control the situation and at least she doing something because it's been plenty many a times that I went to the grocery store spent about 400 500 dollars not food stamps i wish i had some i wish i could get a stamp in this piece because i'm telling you i swiper will swipe 
Don't tell me swipe or no swipe. And I would swipe the shit out of somebody's uh, food stamp card. I don't care how you look at it. I got to feed the family. <laughs> Anywho. And I'm sick. Ooh, I spend. Y'all don't want to know how much we spend a month at groceries. Just know it's over a thousand bucks, okay? Um. This chronic, y'all, is doing me right this morning. It's doing me real, real good. Doing me. Okay, I didn't see the lock on the refrigerator. If she has a lock on the refrigerator, more power to her. I think it's genius. She has to control what's in her refrigerator. Especially, like I said, I went to the grocery store and shopped and bought everything for my meals. And came back and some shit is missing. You know what I'm saying? Because it's, you gotta think, hubby and I work. Um, by the time I get home to make dinner, the kids have already been home. When all five were home, we're down to four, but when all five were home, you know, they all eat differently. They all eat different stuff, which runs through groceries by itself. When you got five people walking around doing their own thing, eating everything out the refrigerator. So when I get up on Sunday morning to make the huge family breakfast that I make on Sunday mornings. I go to grab my bacon that cost me a lot of cash, hard earned money. It's gone. You know how pissed I am that now I have to hurry up, throw on something to run over to the grocery store and buy some more bacon when I have all along thought that I scheduled everything, planned everything out precisely to know what my meals will be and nothing should be gone because I took my time and went to the grocery store and um, planned out my meals. That pisses me off. So I wish I would have thought about that a long time ago by putting a lock on that refrigerator. I would have left a, listen, I would have either had an additional small grocery, um, a small, like a dorm room refrigerator in somewhere in the house where they can have some lunch meat, a loaf of bread, um, condiments until to tide them over until I come home to cook dinner. They would have been able to eat something, but it would have been portioned out and I would have knew what it was so that I can replenish because don't nobody in my house tell me when I'm, when we run out of stuff. You could be down to that last square of toilet paper and somebody would be like, Mama, we out of toilet paper. Can y'all let a sister know when you take the last roll? How about you let a sister know when we get down to the last pack so that I can get ahead of the game? They don't tell me nothing. Girls don't tell me that they need uh, sanitary napkins until it's too late. You know, don't do me like that. Don't do me like that. But, that's that. That's how I feel about that topic. I think that's smart. If she do have a lock on that refrigerator, she gets to control the situation. And you gotta think that she getting ready to go into the hospital. So, um, she probably stocked up what she knows she needs to stock up for and wants to control the situation. I don't blame her none. You gotta do certain, certain things you gotta do differently when you have a huge family, you guys. Y'all see that white furry ball hanging there? That's, um, that's I call my car snow. That's his that's one of his balls. It used to be two furry white balls because y'all know my car is white. So he had two furry white balls hanging up there. And one of and I think my girls took them for keychains because they are keychains, but I've had my car for almost three years. And that's one of his balls and somebody took them. Done. But we almost to work. Um, y'all, 29 more days for this trip. What do I need? Do y'all know if I can put, y'all let me know, it, other YouTubers or anybody, y'all let me know if I can, um, can I take my tripod with me in my, not my carry-on, but my suitcase? Because I can take two suitcases. Can I take my tripod and put all of that, my, um, ring light can i put all of that in my suitcase and take it with me if y'all know let me know if not I, i'll find out i'm just saying i was trying to be lazy you know and get a little information from a true family um 
you guys will see us with uh some true family attire on on this trip i am gonna have some um shirts made for the trip and y'all can let us know how y'all feel about those shirts before i get a large quantity made um when you see us in them 29 days all right you guys i'm gonna go ahead and get off off, off of here you guys have an amazing day don't let the door hit you with a good lord split you remember all progress takes place outside of the comfort zone get out your comfort zone let's do it let's make some things happen don't let nobody steal your joy don't give that control to anybody understood understand get it got it good y'all know i'm about to finish listening to um my cardi cardi on the way in to hype me up yesterday y'all i had to um i put a scarf across my desk across my little cubicle so wouldn't nobody bother me because i i had to focus yesterday but yeah. all right y'all i'll talk to y'all later have a great day and i love y'all peace